Hey, Tom Shaka here. Um, I want to have a little fun today, play with some power tools, and I'm going to take apart a Sawyer Mini water filter and a Life Straw water filter, and just kind of look at the insides of them, play, dissect them, that type of thing. So um, let's start with the Sawyer Mini. That's this right here, and then we've got the Life Straw right as they come shipped. This is just the way you get them. Okay, so all that. Sawyer so Mini, Life Straw. So I'm going to compare the two of them and we'll just um, we'll kind of play it by ear and see how we do. So let's start with um, just making a couple cuts on the Life Straw. Let's get rid of this lanyard here. Don't need that. There we go. Okay, still on camera. Good. Okay, so let's go. Apparently I'm not a professional with this uh, grinder here. <laughs> My cuts were very good. So that's interesting. Okay, so this is the life straw. And again, the way you work it is you just dip this end in the stream or your source of water and you suck through this end right here. Let me see if you can see that. So that's, that's the end that you suck through right there. And that's the, uh, the end that goes in the river. And so I just took this apart. And I want to make sure you can see them here. That's interesting. So, hollow fiber is what they call this, this system. Um, can't pull on it. So I'm thinking we cut a little farther down. What do you think? Let's do that. Let's go halfway this time. got through okay you can see the life straw is hollow here this piece and you've got this piece um, you can get an idea what's here so you got a sleeve on the outside and then you got the, the hollow fibers right here that the, the filters the water um, pretty neat now I'm thinking how about we cut on this end let's try that Let's move these pieces over here. And then we'll take apart the Sawyer after two and have some fun. By the way, just FYI, I have goggles on. Thank you for your concern. And of course, this is the hollow piece right here. And we got more of the filter. Okay, the sleeve. We got some kind of a band right here that holds a hop. This band holds the sleeve on. So let's take the sleeve off. Okay, so then you got all the hollow fibers right here. Interesting. And then you've got some kind of epoxy right here. I'm going to cut this, I think. Let's try that. It's the best way to do this. Interesting. This is really, really hard and tight on here. And this is the end that goes in the stream or the river, the water source. So it's really tight at the bottom. And then it comes filtering up through here. Interesting. Let's cut a little bit more. This is some serious epoxy here. And you can see that. And it's gonna, you know, let's, let's cut. I want to cut off the very end of this. I want to see this better. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that. That's interesting. 
So this is where the water first comes through. That's a really, really tight space. That's getting all kinds of good stuff on it. Yeah, so it goes through the hollow fibers and then filters all the way through this and then you're sucking out on this end. So by the time the water gets through all of this, you're removing, what did I say, 99.99% of the impurities. That's the life straw. Here's all of its components. Here you can see that. Um, so let's see. This was up here. This was in the middle. And that's on the end. That's kind of how the life straw works. Cool. So let's put that aside. And let's play with the Sawyer Mini. Okay. And you can see on here it says the flow. So you're going to be sucking from this end and, dra and um, getting the water through this end. So, how about we start right in the middle? Let's try that. And of course I'm chuckling as I do this because I didn't even hit the middle. <laughs> Obviously it's not in the middle, so I guarantee I'll get comments on that. Uh, okay, so another sleeve. Interesting, for the Sawyer Mini. Leave that right here. And, okay, oops. It won't let go of me. Let go. Okay, so, you can see this in here. And, uh, you know, that's the end that the water source comes in right here. And then this is uh, a little closer. So similar membranes is the life straw we just looked at a moment ago. And by pulling this, I bet we're going to encounter the same thing. It's probably really tight and compressed down here. But uh, let's find out. Uh, let's put that right here. Trying not to cut it too much because I don't want to get into the cutting up the fibrous membranes, the hollow fiber. There's the sleeve again, a slightly different sleeve than the um, life straw was. I'll get this a little closer. You see the difference in the sleeves. I don't know how relevant that is, but just wanted to show you. Interesting. Huh. Very cool. Okay, so I'm thinking now, do what we did um, with the other one. I'm going to slice maybe a couple down through here. Let's get these out of the way. Actually, I wanted to play with it a little bit before I put any more cuts in it because it seemed to move a bit. Okay, let's put another cut in it. So yeah, just like the uh, life straw, it's not coming apart because it's really tightly epoxied in there. Mm. You might want to see this up close because it's just fun. <laughs> of course, I can smell plastic burning. I'm thinking we go right down the middle here. How's that? We are chewing this right up, aren't we? Boy, 
Look at that. Very, very tight in there. Hmm. You know what? Just for safety's sake, as I saw it grab it a couple times, I'm going to use my Leatherman multi-tool to hold it. And you're probably all thinking, why didn't you do that already, you fool? This a little bit better. How's that? I know they're not straight cuts, but we're getting there. We're just dissecting the water. There we go. Okay, yeah, so the same thing. We've got the epoxied, I don't know if it's epoxy or what, but uh, same thing as the life straw pretty much. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I think you get the gist of it, right? So we've got the, the Sawyer Mini and the life straw internals. They're very same, very similar rather. Uh, one of them claims to have uh, one micron more filtration than the other, I believe. But the goal of this video is just to have some fun and take them apart and destroy them. And I think we accomplished that. What do you think? Thank you for visiting Camping Survival. Have a great day.